Hey there, Mustangs. Welcome to the school for the week of September 11th. Let's start off the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, job well done. Let's see what's happening at Westlake this week. Thanks for the update. We finished last week with our third Mustang Musings assembly. Let's take a look back at what we learned. Thank you Mustangs for another great Mustang Musings assembly. This is your one minute review. We discussed what STEM crazy looks like in the bathrooms. Being curious means checking how you look. Being respectful means keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Keeping it clean and using appropriate language and volume. Being accountable means we only do four things in the bathroom. Go, flush, wash, and leave. Always take care of school property while doing those four things. Zero quitting means we return to class quickly. Remember, it all starts with you. Mr. Edwards shared some more Chromebook reminders, including the following. The zippered case is the property of Westlake STEM and is not to be written on, decorated, or tampered with in any way. Chromebooks should remain in their protective case when not in use in the classroom. No cleaners to be used on Chromebooks and they are not to get wet. Do not attempt to access the internal parts of the Chromebook or attempt to remove keys. Do not tamper with labels on the Chromebook. Chromebooks must never be left unattended. Chromebooks will not be allowed in the auditorium, the lunchroom, the gym except for PE classes, the locker rooms, or outside. Chromebooks must be stored vertically in hallway lockers during lunch. We also did the second part of our dress code discussion. Remember that? Pants, shorts, overalls, skirts, and jumpers need to ride at the natural waistline. Pant cuffs may not be pegged using elastic bands or cuffed tighter than the natural width of the pant leg. Skirts, dresses, jumpers, and shorts must cover at minimum half of the thigh, and pants with large tears must do the same. Pajama bottoms are not allowed. Chains, sharp jewelry, and spikes are not allowed at school. No hats, gloves, or sunglasses may be worn in the building. We also got a few reminders from Officer Bodie, including the direction that we cannot be on any other school's property except for the school we attend. Officer Bodie counseled us to help keep our school safe by reporting unsafe behavior or items including bullying, fighting, weapons, or drugs and tobacco. Specifically, Officer Bodie let us know that bystanders of fighting can often face consequences if they encourage or film a fight rather than getting help. Officer Bodie concluded by urging us to look for ways to be kind to those around us. We learned about the Safe Utah app, and we'll discuss that more later in this episode. Mr. Howe shared the story of the 1995 football state championship and how one kind gesture from a player on the opposing team helped console the Fremont receiver after a heartbreaking drop cost his team the state championship. The story can be a good example to each of us to look for ways we can help lift someone who needs to be picked up from the ground. That's your one minute review. We are Westlake. Thanks for the reminders. Tuesday is an important date. Let's watch a little skit to get in the mood. Okay, that looks like it's going to turn out great. Thank you so much. Hi, come on in and have a seat. Okay, and smile. <laughs> oh, that actually turned out pretty good. Yeah. Nobody move. Agent Stone, Agent Flowers, BRSI. BRSI. You're for the rectification of social inequality. Please step aside, ma'am. What? I don't She's know. She's right, he looks normal. Delete it. What? But my school photos never look good. Exactly. Nobody takes good school photos. 
We can't let this photo get out into the open. Why? Because the world would go into a collective collapse of self-esteem. The only reason everyone can joke about how bad their grade school photos are is because everyone else also has bad grade school photos. <laughs> so if just one beautiful photo gets out there, everyone's ego would be destroyed and the world would descend into chaos. On the plus side, selfies would no longer be a thing. You see this picture? <laughs> You see this? What's wrong with it? Nothing. She's flawless. But then little Miss Pris decided to show a few friends and BAM! World War II. What? <laughs> that can't possibly be the reason. Oh no? This cutie pie sunk the Titanic. Captain took one look at it and decided he had nothing left to live for. And it's his own daughter. This sort of thing has been happening all throughout history. We're not sure how, but this little baby caused Pompeii. <laughs> Don't worry though, we're here to help. Let's get the 90s kit. What? The 90s His kit? clothes are too in style. This oversized tie-dye shirt will take care of that. Well, oh, the 90s. It's like the 80s ate the 70s and then threw it up. <laughs> Let's get some braces on him. Yeah. But I don't need braces. I was born with perfect teeth. That information doesn't leave this room. Listen to me, you little genetic wonder. You put on these braces and you leave them on. You understand me? Oh, yes, ma'am. Perfect. That hair is an issue. Scissors? I can make it a mullet in two minutes. No, just give him a cowlick. We want him to look bad, not European. <laughs> Can we get some glasses to hide the fact that he has perfect vision? Yes. How old are you, son? Ten. Is that old enough to get zits? I've never had any. Oh, great. I'm sure the woman you marry is gonna love to hear you had perfect skin your whole life. Oh. <laughs> Put one on his nose. Why? Why? Because zits are like real estate and your nose is beachfront property. Let's get some hairspray. What? But you already messed up his hair. It's for his eyes. What? Ah! <laughs> oh. Now I can barely open them. Ah! <laughs> Fist on the chin. Oh yeah, I think we're ready. No, not yet. Get the lasers. Agent Stone, I think we- I said the lasers! Please, he's just a child! I'm sorry, ma'am. Brace yourself, son. Bless the man who designed that backdrop. I think he went too far. <laughs> I wasn't ready. We'll see you in six years when you need a driver's license photo. Oh, I just want to be beautiful. <laughs> Don't let anything like this happen again. The power you wield as a grade school photographer cannot be taken lightly. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I was at recess and chipped my tooth. <laughs> well, we're clearly not needed here anymore. Thank you for your time. That's right, Mustangs. Tuesday is school picture day. Please come looking sharp. Remember that for school picture day, your clothing must match the school dress code. It's time once again for another weekly whip around.
symptoms of romantic affection But I'm trying to see the light One very important part of the Mustang Musings Assembly was learning about the Save UT app. We'll spend a little time this week setting that up during our Mustang room. Let's learn more. Thank you. That's a great app to have. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is Mustang Media.